Shuv Raisi Shi Shlomar O Tam Pashut Yoser. I further have seen that we can say another uh, simpler reason. Mashal Fomim Hamalchus Nimnis U Fomim Lo Nimnis. That at times Hamalchus is counted and at times it's not counted. Like we said with the seven and eight, that at, at times. The Bina is the seventh, and at times it's counted as the eighth because of the addition of Malchus. That the concept of the journeys in the desert are seven attributes that are composed of six. So six times seven, the in hamalchus shibuchal mida nimnes, nimnes, and the in the malchus in each attribute is not counted, so, because it's not seven times seven, it's forty-two journeys. Vigam sfiras haomer hem memtes shinimnes hamalchus shibuchal mida, and also in sfiras haomer are there. So that that is forty-nine. Then in that malchus is counted in each attribute. And the, and the difference and the answer between these two countings of the 42 journeys and the 49 days of the Omer ki midas malchus zehu ha-memutza ha-mecha beratzilu subriya because malchus is this in-between state that unites atzilu subriya balkein bibichin asam shach mela maila lamata ha-malchus nimnis and therefore in drawing down from above to below malchus is counted to draw down and see listen to Bria. Aval bebechinas hala melamata la maila. But when we're going upwards from below to above, li kalal li kalal bebitul to be included upwards in a nullified state. Binyan shemab with the concept of the name of forty two in hamalchus nimnes chulu. So malchus is no longer playing its part of connecting the above and below because the below is now being included in being included within the above. And, and everything is, is in the above now, so we don't count the Malchus. And uh, if so, also here, when we're speaking about the elevation from below to above, so Malchus is then called the seventh, then we don't count the Malchus. And we count and we count Bina as the seventh. Uh, so the first Maira Makum was from Masse, the, the third Masse, and this Maira Makum is from the second Masse. And uh, so there, the Alter Rebbe goes at length over them. And uh, we'll return to what we're talking about here. The Bina Nikra Shviai La Alaihu. That Bina is called the seventh, the supernal seventh above them, the Shejusimi Breshis, Hanikra Yamim Rishonim, that are called the six, the six days of creation that are called the, uh, the first days. And that's that Elohim completed on the seventh day. What's the seventh day? That's Bina. That is, as the Elohim is uh, goes upwards and is, is completed uh, from below to above. In a concept of reflected light, a a a pleasing spirit or a resting spirit going back up. So because it's going back up, and uh, Shabbos is in Aliyah, so Malchus is not counted in this context. Where it talks about you have the, the, the double hay, that you have a hay included within a hay perhaps. Uh, 
um, we're talking about Shabbos and this idea of Orchoze. Hachsham Perish Ze Alpi Alposak Vishbos Biomashvi. But over there, it explains it according to the verse that he rested on the seventh day. And here we're explaining it uh, in accordance with the Pasuk that Elohim completed on the seventh day, or was Vayichal, the Elohim went away, so to speak, because it was Nichlul above. So, what's the difference between these two? So, we must say, according to what it says in Lukuti Torah Shira Shiri, in Basi Lagani, the Pirish Vichal Elokim, that what does it mean, Vichal Elokim, that Elokim is completed, Ratsalama Shekala, Hatsim Sumim, that is Elokim, is the Tsim Sum, the confinement, and Vichal means it was it was ended, that the Tsim Sumim ended, Shal Shem Elokim, of the name Elokim, Ham Umir Gilu Shem Avaya. And shines then the revelation of Shema Vaya. That's no longer Mitsumsum Malide Shemilukim. Vachrakamadriga Bez, and then you have a second level, Vaishpos Biumashvi of resting on the seventh day. That's a, a higher level, Hainu Milamila Lamata. So that that would be from above to below Nikri Sod Yomashvi Kanal. That that's when your sod would be counted as the seventh day. And you would count Malchus. Or you'd no, you'd start from Bina as the first from above to below. And then and then you'd count you saw it as the seventh. And on this it says that he rested. Although we, we just explained that Melamila the Matalukhura you'd count Malchus. And Vayish Bos Lachora is an Orchoser, which is also Melamata Lamaila. But here he's, he's saying that if you're saying Vayichala Lukim is Melamata Lamaila, so Vayish Bos is Melamaila Lamata. And uh, we'd still start from Bina and then the Isod. Not sure. Vechem Perish Beze Haprat Bezoar, Parshas Breshi Staff Yudzainam Rebez, Vayish Bos Yamashvi. So it says that he rested on the seventh. That's the sword of the world. That the resting in it is more than all. This is also uh, explained in Zohar Noach, where the concept of Noach is that he's the sword. And Noach is from the language of Naicha, of resting, so he corresponds with Shabbos. He went into the Teva, it's, it's the concept of Isod into Malchus, and the concept of Yonah um, Matzabah Manoach, and so forth, and the resting of the Teva on, on the mountain. And that's why Yesod is called joy. It says in the Maimur Tzayin Yoraina that the main pleasure in, 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 is in giving over, or in, in the giving over, is similar to the idea of more than the calf wants to suckle, the cow wants to nurse it. Wants to nurse the calves. That is to say that there is a pleasure in the hashpa from above to below. That in, in the resting of the, of hashpa, going upwards, that's one concept of resting. It's no longer giving hashpa; it goes back up to its makor. But what about the idea of the of the tainug of hashpa? So that's that's the idea of of the mother cow wanting to give hashpa to the child cow, to the calf. That yeah, that itself is a neicha derucha. That itself is a shabbos to be able to give to your children. And that is that he rested on the seventh day. That is 
the concept of Yisod as the seventh Shabova, Yishpros Pachinus Naicha, that there you have the Hashpa to below in a way of, of resting and the, and the greatest pleasure in the Hashpa. Hagimu Vayivarech Elokim Bayomashvi, Vayivarech Elokim is Yomashvi. And then you have a third concept. So we had Vayichal Elokim, and then we had. Um, as Yomashvi, then we had Vayishpos Yomashvi, now we have Vayivarech. So Vayichal, Vayishpos, Vayivarech. Vayivarech Elokim as Yomashvi, that Elokim blessed the seventh day. Vayikai al HaMalchus, so that refers to Malchus. Shinikreis Gamkein Shviya, the Malchus is also called the seventh. The Chesed is in regards to Chesed of Zeranpi. When you start counting from Chesed, that is after you draw down the flow from Bina to Yisod. So from the Yisod, you draw down the blessing into Malchus al Derech Ihu Baruch the Ihi Biracha, like the statement in the Zohar that he is blessing of Baruch and she is blessing with bra- of of Bracha. Like the concept of to rest, of Naicha, of Bracha, El Beisecha, to your house, the concept of Malchus, the house, in the vessel. Masha, Malchus, Hishvia, and this that Malchus is Malchus is seventh, Hashem uh, Chesed, because of the kindness, Kihu, Bas Nadiv. Bitoshel Avraham, because the Malchus is the daughter of the philanthropist, the one who gives. That's that's Avraham, who corresponds with Chesed. So Malchus, when you come from from Chesed, then you have the Malchus. That's when you have the concept of Malchus is connected with with the expression of Chesed. So that's when it's the seventh. So three levels then then are called seven. Bina Isod Umalchus Valpiza Yuvin Mashakaz of Azorkan and according to that we can explain what the Zohar says here, Vishviya Illah Alaihu that the the supernal seventh is above them. Because so you have more than one seven. Dafka specifically Vilo Stam Shviya and not the regular seventh. Because we have three sevens, Kiyari Stam, Shviya, Shaykh, Kamkin, Yisod, or Malchus. Because the regular seven, that you could also say about Yisod or Malchus, Vekan Kavanasu Bina. And here the intention is to Bina, Shi, Shviya, Lashin, Shviya, Lishis, Yomin, which is the seventh to the six days. Lishis, Yomin, Elayin, to the six supernal days. Alkin Amar, therefore it says, Shviya, Ila, Lahu. That the supernal seventh is above them. She bechina ha'al yona. She bechina siyom hashvi'i v'chulu. That it is the supernal concept that's in the the uh, the seventh day. Al derech zeish kam ken gimel madregos. So this is all. These three concepts of seven are, are all within Vayichulu. You have Vayomashvi three times. So each one of these Shvi'i corresponds with um, Bina Yisur Malchus, according to this. Even though in, in uh, Kisveri, or in the, at least in the Siddur of, of Shabtai, Rosh covers, so it uh, explains it a little differently. Val derech zeish gam kin madrego zula mail mizu bebichinas shviya. And similarly, you have levels one above the other, and the concept of seven kamo shnas hashmita hi shviya, like the year of shmita is seventh. Vishnas yovel shuhu shuhu achar sheva shmitos. 
Higamken Bechinas Shvia and the Yovel, which is after seven Shemitahs, it's also a seventh level, a higher level of seven. Ela Shehi Shvia Ilah, but it's a higher level. Find me Zeb Bimed Rash Rabba, Pasha Samor Suf, Pasha Chavtes. Bishanim Shvii Chaviv, in years, the seventh is dear. Shanem Arvash Fis Tishmetena Unetashta. Like it says on the seventh, you should leave it alone and uh, stop what you're doing. Bishmitos Shvii Chaviv, and when you're counting Shemitahs, the seventh is dear. Shanem Arikidashtim Shnasa Chamishim Chul. Like it says, and you should sanctify the fiftieth year. And the concept of three times on the on the seventh day. This that we say that Elokim was com completed. Elokim completed on the seventh day is in Bina. Who be Bina? He named Zohar Breshi. Staff mem Zaynum or Beis Mevuar. To who be Torah Shabal Peshi Malchus? So in Zohar Breshis, seems to explain it differently, and says that on the seventh day he completed, or Elohim completed. That's Torah Shabal Peh. That's the oral Torah, which corresponds to Malchus. But here we're saying it's Bina, and in Zohar there it says Ubei Shtach Alma, and there the world was completed and, and set up in, in its full measure. In its building, if so, if it's Malchus, then Vayichalulukim refers to the seventh. The seventh refers to Chesed. Is excuse me, Malchus, which is seventh to Chesed, because the world is built with Chesed. So it says Ubei Shtachlal, which refers to building. The Malchus completed the building, and so the building is from Chesed. So you count it as the seventh. V'achar kach binyin v'yishbos p'yom ha'shvi yisham beis pirushim And there, in Zohar Breshis, Nafim Zayin, it says further two explanations. And in v'yishbos, which is the second level that we had here, ha'alef shu b'yisod, the first is that it's yisod, v'habeis shu b'bina, and the second that it's in bina, so there in Vaishpos you have both Yisod and Bina. Valkin Namarkan me call Malachto. And that's why it says here that he rested from all his work. Vaishpos me call Malachto. So I guess me call being from all, meaning both Yisod and Malchus. Which is not the case when it says Vayichal that he completed. That refers to Malchus. It's only one, his work. Its work. That since by resting on the seventh day is in Bina, or um, rather that when it says by that he that he rested on the seventh, which is Bina. It says all of the work because everything comes from Bina. So that's Mikol Malachto from all his work because it's the all the Hashpa. So that's Mikol Malachto. So when you have a resting and Bina, it's a resting from all the work. I know Bina Tzilus Bin Bia Kol Nisave Al Yidia Bina that whether we're talking about the the world of Atsilus or the world's of Yitzhia, it all is created through Bina. Al-Ukinodim in Mi Bara Ela, and as is known the concept of Mi created these, the, the Mi is the, is the Bina. Like the Mi Bikamachia 50, the 50th, the 50 gates of Bina, or the difference between Mi and Ma, and so forth. And Ela being the Midos and so forth. Therefore, you can say about this that he rested on the seventh day, Mikol Malachto, from all his work, from all the Olamos, because it all, all comes from Bina. 
which is not the case with Malchus, Lo Nishaburak Bia, only Briyat Sirasia, were created. Alkin Lo Neamar Mikol Malachto, Ki Im Malachto. Therefore, it doesn't say all of his work, rather, only its work. Vini Le Peter Zema Shekazv Achakach, Vivarach Elohim Yom Shivii. Now, according to this, so this that it says that Elohim blessed the seventh day, that's another level beyond Bina then. Or, um, that's, that's not been a Kaila so, so he's saying, so well, I thought he said two Pirushim and Vaishpos. One is Bina and one is Yisod. But I guess if you say Vaishpos is Bina, so then Vaivarch is Yisod. Virchan Besharyan me, my law and blessings dwell in it in Yisod from the Supernal Mother. That is to leave a blessing on his house. The house being Malchus. Therefore, Yisod is the blessed one that has the blessing. The blessings to the head of the Tzadik, which is Yisod. Vain be medrashak ba kedoshim, rich pasha of dollar brachos mitzion, shinamachi sham tziva vice a bracha. That the blessings are from Tzion, and Tzion is Yisod. That it says that there, have I commanded the, the blessing. Yverha vaim Tzion. Kisham tziva vice a bracha. Vain be me ori or os alaf sif dollar, but os bays sif lamites. And we can say that this is what it says, that the King Shlomo was blessed. I guess um, that Shlomo being of Malchus and he's blessed from Yisod or something. Actually, that Shlomo here is Yisod, according to the Ramaz. In Reish Parshas Vayetze, so that's why it says the Melach Shlomo Baruch. Belukuti Torah Parshas Tazria Pirush Ala Malchus, and according to Belukuti Torah Tazria, Shlomo is Malchus. Vishnei Memes and both are true. Kihu Yichud Yisur Malchus. Commotion is for the Ilsi Falaf. Like we explained that the that that. That it actually refers to a union of Yisod and Malchus, like we explained, that Malchus, Malchus and Yisod are included together as one. In the beginning of this mime. So then we say, um, so after Vayvarach Elokim Yomashvi, it says Vaykadisho, so that he sanctified it. Ki Vayvarach Zem Habina, because he blessed it. That comes from Bina. Uh, according to the first perush that he brought in the previous paragraph, that vayvarech refers to bina, or no, according to this perush, that that the vayichal is that the shvi vayichal is malchus, and vayishpos would be yisod, and vayvarech would be bina, I guess. Although he didn't bring that Peter Shot of Vaivarach being Bina yet. But if, I guess if you say that Vaishpos is so, then you would say Vaivarach is Bina. And then Vaikadish would be Chochma. Vaikadish mea Chochma, Kibo, Shavas, because in it is Shabbos, because in it is the resting. And Zohar Parish Pashas Noach Taf Nun Tesuman Beis, and the Shab that, as is known, that Shabbos is Elias Hama Olamos and the concept of of Chachma, which um, is uh, the Tainug as opposed to the Simcha and Bina, which is more like Yom Tov in Yatvila who mein Shabbos not Tvila is like Shabbos. And since Tfilah is like Shabbos, you have three components to Shabbos, so you have three concepts within Tfilah, three concepts of the, on the seventh day. 
because in the concept of the seven palaces that you have in the blessings of Shema, Vitfila, and Shmona Esrei, Harishon Hechaliv Nasa Sapir, the first is the palace of, of the sapphire uh, stone, Akola Yisodu Malchus, that's composed of Yisodu Malchus, Zokinyan Vechalalukim Biomashvi, that's like the first level of, of Elohim completed on the seventh day, Shua Malchus. Which is Malchus, Vachakach Besmichas, Gula Litfila Vishmona Esrei. Then afterwards you go to the Hecholos until you reach Shmona Esrei. And when you are Somech Gula Litfila, Hechol Kodesh Kadashim, that's the palace of the Holy of Holies, the highest and the seventh. Zeukinyan Vishpos Biomashvi, that's like the idea of that he rests on the seventh day. Shuva Bina, which is in Bina, you know, like we said. So that's the seventh, which is like we said, Bina. Then at the end of Tfila, Sim Shalom corresponds with Yisod, Hamshachas Hatipa. That's like the idea. Velukim blessed the seventh day, and like we said, and perhaps the Nephilus um, Apaim, uh, which is the Mesir Snefesh, perhaps that's the. Uh, Vaikadish or so or something. But he doesn't say.